hello everyone in this video i will show you how to hide the particular button based on the wave role assigned to the contact who is logged into the portal so we will see that but before i do the configurations let me show you my current setup so i am having this web page called student list and uh, and for that i have written the one uh, written the javascript uh, jquery and javascript uh, javascript code uh, which will add the buttons and the click of this button it will open the new page here so if you want to see this configuration you can watch my previous video of this item marker configuration there i have set up the code here so when i go to the web template of this particular student list this is the web template of that one and this is the code i have written in my uh, previous video so here uh, this button is added here so when the button is added here based on that we have to check uh, the security role assigned to this contact here so this is my contact which i have logged in uh, to the portal and on that contact i am having the two security role assigned here basic user and super user so what i want is when i am having the basic user assigned then only i want to see this add button if i don't have this basic role assigned here basic user role wave role assigned here then i will be not be able to see this button so that then i cannot add my applications to the portal so uh, for that uh, we have to write the small uh, uh, liquid script and then we have to check the condition so here we will be checking condition if then user is the object which will give you all the details about the user who has logged into the portal so this is the liquid script or you can say the object and that will give you the user full name then if you want to access the email address of that user first name last name and the details of the, of that user so here uh, the details like i have assigned the I, I have the uh, wave roles also assigned to contact right so if you want to get the roles then we'll have the roles here then we have the uh, roles if it has the contain we can use the check the contains means if it contains the wave role by name so here uh, the wave role assigned to me is basic user so let me copy the name of this one so I, when I'll check if the user means portal contact here user, if it is having the wave role with the name contains this one, uh, this user, then I want to add this button. I want to add this button here. Otherwise, we will not uh, display that one. Okay, so small condition. So the user object is used to access the details of the login user. So uh, if you want to, as I mentioned, if you want to find, find the details, uh, if you want to fetch the details of the user, you can use this object. And here I am fetching the details of the roles, and then if the role contains this one, then add this header for that uh, for that uh, for that login user. Otherwise, don't display this one. And then it will not display here. So this is a small check I have added. Let me save it. Okay, and then I will refresh my configurations from the portal uh, studio and I will try to refresh this okay this button is displaying because I am having this uh, wave rule assigned here this basic user now I will remove this uh, wave rule uh, from my contact wave rule permission so I will remove this one Okay, so I am having only super user assigned. Uh, I will update the configuration, synchronize the configuration. And try to reload this. Okay, now you can see that button is not visible because uh, the user uh, user did not having did not having the uh, sorry, user does not having the role with the name uh, basic user, and that is why this page or the, the object uh, button object is not added after the page header, and that is why it's not visual over here. So this is how uh, you can hide the uh, button based on the uh, wave roles assigned to the particular contacts. And let me know if you have any doubt in that. And thank you for watching this video, guys.